Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Jonathan, what are some of the common objections that people uh, bring up uh, when they say that intelligent design isn't a science? Well, I think intelligent design most certainly is a science because it's based on the standard principles of scientific methodology with respect to the past. It's based on the historical abductive method, which is the methodology employed even by Charles Darwin in his formulation of the theory of evolution by natural selection. Charles Darwin, of course, was influenced by the work of the famed 19th century geologist Charles Lyell in his Principles of Geology, uh, where Charles Lyell basically insisted that we want to, if you want to explain events in the remote past, one should let one's present experience of cause and effect guide one's search for the best explanation. So I would argue intelligence science is a science by virtue of the fact it's based, it's predicated upon historical standard scientific principles. Um, what are the common objections to intelligent design being considered a science? Well, one objection is that it's based on an argument from ignorance. That is to say that intelligent design is essentially a placeholder for that which we are ignorant of. We can't explain feature X, therefore we plug in God or an intelligent designer. Whereas intelligent design really doesn't work like that. It's actually an inference to the best explanation based upon what we know about the cause and effect structure of the world that certain types of effects, namely information in this case, complex specified information, is habitually associated with conscious activity. Whenever we find information, it uniformly traces the source back to a conscious, rational, deliberative agent. Um, and so that objection doesn't seem to me to be very um, compelling. Another objection is that intelligent design isn't science because it's not falsifiable, right? Because um, the, the argument is that for something to qualify as a science, then the, 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 the hypothesis has to be falsifiable. Whereas Karl, whereas Karl Popper's um, criterion of demarcation known as falsifiability has actually been almost universally abandoned by philosophers of science and, and there's a number, it's fraught with problems and difficulties. For example, how would you falsify the hypothesis that the Higgs boson exists, right? Um, and there's various other uh, problems with that as well. Um, moreover, I would argue the intelligence design is falsifiable because it's, it's basically predicated upon two premises. One, that we find complex specified information in the cell, in the world of the cell and biology. And secondly, that 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 information is best explained by intelligent design. So if you could show that specified complexity isn't present in the cell or that um, there's a better explanation, then that would falsify and destroy the design inference. Other objections are that it's uh, that intelligent design invokes unobservable entities, whereas other disciplines like particle physics invoke unobservable entities. Um, so, um, or the intelligent design doesn't have heuristic value, um, whereas I would argue that uh, it does have heuristic value. I think it motivates us to look for function, for example, for junk DNA, for example, or, or uh, and so on. Or finally, um, the intelligent design isn't science because it doesn't make any testable predictions. Whereas I would argue that intelligent design does make testable predictions. For example, it predicts that we, when we look at the cell, we will find specified complexity, mm -hmm. which is a prediction which you can test. So I would argue that intelligent design most certainly is a science.